The stern engine is a thermodynamic machine with a fluid working medium moving in a confined vessel. It's classified as a type of an external combustion engine. The engine operates using the energy released through cycles of heating and cooling the working fluid, which causes the volume of the fluid to change. An engine of this style was first developed on September 27, 1816 by Robert Sterling, a Scottish minister. Engines that use working fluid are characterized by their small size, high performance and high working pressure. The Stirling engine is based on the Stirling cycle. Its thermodynamic efficiency is comparable to that of the current cycle, even exceeds it. The Stirling cycle comprises four phases separated by two transient conditions, heating, expansion and transition to the source of cold, cooling and compression and transition to the source of heat. The Stirling cycle enables a highly practical way to build a relatively small engine. Thus, while transitioning from heating to cooling, the gas in the cylinder expands and compresses. The difference in the volume of the fluid is converted into mechanical work. The Stirling engine has a number of advantages. Like other external combustion engines, the Stirling engine operates whatever the temperature difference. The structure of the engine is very simple. It doesn't require any additional systems such as a gas distribution mechanism. It starts independently, it doesn't require a starter. Its design eliminates the need for a transmission. The engine is noiseless, it has no exhaust and therefore operates silently. In itself, the engine does not have any pulse or processes that can pollute the environment. Its working fluid is non expendable. The engine's ecological characteristics are primarily determined by ecological characteristics of its heat source. It's also worth noting that it's easier to ensure efficient combustion in an external combustion engine than in an internal alone. The stern engine is useful whenever a complex and simple thermodynamic converter is required or in cases when other thermodynamic engines prove to be less efficient.